Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video, we saw that if the results of the first test weren't that good, in other words, the probability that you actually had the condition when you tested positive was fairly low, you wanted to run the test a second time. And we saw that when we ran the, the test a second time, the probability became a lot larger. If you tested positive a second time, now the probability went up to 79.51% that if you tested positive, you actually had the condition. But that may still not be satisfactory because that leaves about 20% chance that you're healthy, you don't have the condition. So maybe you should run the test a third time. Only those that tested positive twice in a row, let's test them a third time to see what would happen now. So what has changed? Well now, what happens here is, here the 98% stays the same, right? Because you still have the probability that if you test that if you have the disease, you'll test positive, is still dependent upon the sensitivity. That hasn't changed, that's still 98%. And the probability that if you are healthy, that you'll test positive, that's the false positive rate, that's still at 5% because the specificity of the test is 95%. So this stays at 5%. So the 98% and the 5% stays the same. What changes is the 16.53% because now, since you're only testing those that have tested positive twice, the probability that if they test positive, that they have the condition you're looking for is now up to 79.51%. So this now changes to 79.51%. And so this also changes to 79.51%. What's this number right here? Well, that was the number that if you tested positive, uh, no, if, what is the probability that you are healthy? Well, again, we're not taking the whole sample of a thousand subjects that are being tested. You're now only testing those that have had two positive results. Of those that had two positive results, the possibility or the probability that, um, the probability that you are healthy has now dropped to 20.49%. So that's the new number that goes in here. That now drops to 20.49%. So let's see what the new probability will be that if you test three times and all three times you test positive, what will be the probability that you have the condition you were looking for? So let's go ahead and do that. In the denominator, we have 0.98 times 0.7 951. We add that to 0 0.05 times 0 0.2049. And we bring that to the numerator. And now we're going to multiply that times times 0 0.98 and times 0 0.7951 equals. Now we're, we are at seven, oh, 98 point eight seven percent so now we have a pretty good number having run the test a third time we now have a 98.87 percent probability that if you test positive a third time you do have the condition you're looking for is that satisfactory well 98.87 is pretty good but that still leaves more than one percent probability that you don't have the condition and perhaps you may want to test a fourth time but that's how that works